When you're teaching the same class with multiple sections, it can become a big pain to have to go through and constantly copy the material from first period to second period to fourth period and so on. It's easy to forget which class did I transfer this to, which did I not. So Canvas makes it possible for you to combine different sections. So I'm looking at Mackenzie Dye's dashboard right now and you can see she's got multiple sections of child development. Here's first period. You'll notice this is semester one. This one's semester two, so I don't want to combine that. But she's got six periods semester one. So I want to make sure that these two get combined. It declutters my dashboard, but it's also going to make it easier for her because she doesn't have to transfer things from one course to the other all the time. Gradebooks can still be separate. Assignments can be staggered, so if one assignment needs to be due for one class on Monday, but the other class just took more time and they need Tuesday, you can change those dates. So it's not like everything becomes the exact same. You can still change things based on your class period. It streamlines the process for you quite a bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change the class nickname because I don't want it to be period one because it's no longer going to be period one. I've got three classes I'm going to combine. I've got child development first period, child development sixth period, and child development seventh period. So I'm going to use my first period class as my base. I'm going to go to sixth period I'm going to go scroll down to settings, I'm going to go to sections, and then I'm going to click here on the name of the class. This can be a little bit confusing because you might think you want to add a section, so you just link it to section one, but make sure you click on the class. So you'll see now it tells me how many students I have, tells me who all of those students are, and now I want to come over here to cross list this section. So I want to search for the course. So as I go through, I need to make sure I'm finding the correct course. I'm using first hour, so you'll notice that the class period is that second number. So I'm linking it to first hour, and I want semester one, 2016. I'm going to cross list this section. So now if I go back to the dashboard, you're going to see that period six is no longer here. It's now been combined with first period. I'm going to quickly do the same thing for her seventh period class. And then I will show you how does it work for combining things and for separating things. So I want again to choose period one, semester one. You'll notice down here that sixth hour still exists. It's just not showing up on my dashboard anymore because it's been combined with First hour, I'm going to do that again here. So now if I go back to my dashboard, now I've got just one first semester class to deal with on Canvas for child development. So what you'll see though is you can still separate things by class. So for example, if we go to assignments, and let's create a new assignment. So the way that you would do this, when it says assign to, if it's everyone, that means all of your students in your class. But maybe I want to add my first hour. And you'll notice here it only shows one and six. Don't worry about that. If you were to add like a seven here, that seven will show up. So it's just they only show limited ones for some reason. So let's say I seventh period, it's going to be due on November 3rd. But I want first and I want sixth hour. Theirs is going to be due November 4th. So it's easy for me to add different due dates for different sections. 
and in the grade book you can also decide how you want to see them. So for example, I can show all sections or I can look at individual class periods. So I still have that separation, but I also have them combined, which makes it a whole lot easier for me to create content and saves me time from copying it to Canvas Commons, then importing it into the same section over and over and over again. The one caveat to this is you have to do it before students submit assignments. Once they submit assignments, you lose those grades if you combine them. So it's best to do this at the very beginning.